Hello and welcome to my glorious channel. I don't know if this is gonna be the first video, so I'm gonna introduce myself anyways. My name is Cameron. I did film another video for this channel that I I don't even it was so long ago that I don't even remember what it was, but I don't think that I liked it and that's why it's not up. But today I'm gonna start off my channel with some makeup things and just like a warning, I have another channel. If you so desire to go look at it, it's a singing channel or a music channel because I like music. Anyways, before we get into anything, I just want to say I know this setup is bad. I mean, I made my ring light from, out of like $30 from Walmart supplies. I'm filming on a phone, and it's not even like a new phone, like it's not even a good phone. So like, I get it. I'm using a microphone not even plugged in. Where were you on that, Cameron? I should probably plug this in, but you know, all gotta start somewhere. So I'm hoping to get a new ring light. <laughs> I'm saving up for a new camera, work in my nine to five job. I, uh, and then I'm gonna get a backdrop so you don't have to look at a vacuum cleaner. Anyways, so what I'm gonna do today for you guys is I'm going to do a half face. That's why I'm bare faced. I know it's not good. I'm having a, a bad skin week, bad skin, bad skin life. All right, so I'm from Canada and it's Canada day right now and I didn't wanna go out. Um, so I, if you can hear fireworks in the background, that's why. Wait, ow, I bumped my knee. Anyways, so what I'm gonna be doing today is a half face of makeup that I love and half a face of makeup that I Hate's a strong word. I thoroughly was dissatisfied with the outcome of those products. But just a disclaimer, if just because they didn't work for me doesn't mean they're not going to work for you. And I don't want to like slander these companies or anything because a lot of them are good. And you'll see that in some of the things I hate, there will be other products of that same brand that I love. So it's like just what kind of works for you, you know? But okay. Oh my god, they're so loud. It's like shaking my window. What's happening? World War Three! Oh, I can see them. Sorry, this is weird. I'm wearing pajamas, by the way. I can see them. That's so exciting. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go get a mirror so I can like do the makeup thing. Okay, I am back, and I got some other stuff. I I figured I might need some brushes. I um, got my beauty blender, and I got some. This is gonna start off with one of the things I love. This is the Equate makeup remover. Uh, and the only reason why I love it, it's okay at removing makeup, but it's also $5 and there's 60 of them in there and I'd rather pay that than like $13 for 20 of them. I go through these a lot. I've gathered my makeup items. Um, uh, if you see me looking over here, it's because that's where my mirror is, so I'm going to try to look into your souls, but I might be looking over here for a large portion of the time. So, what I'm gonna start out with is primer, of course, and I'll start out with, with what I love, if I can find it, there it is. So I'm starting off with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I'm gonna be taking it on the right side of my face. Just a little dab. And I love this primer, it really feels super smooth on my skin on the other side on the left side of my face this might come as a shock it's the poor professional <laughs> primer and I don't I don't know what it is like it doesn't I don't see much of a difference on me which I feel like is weird but there's like there was not a lot in there like I haven't used it that much because I don't like it that much but there wasn't, like, it's such a big packaging for, like, literally, I can squeeze almost all the way up to the top without no with nothing coming out. And I thought, I was, like, I was kind of disappointed. I would have rather just a smaller packaging. Like, I don't mind how much is in there, but there's so much packaging and there's so much air. 
that I feel like I'm buying like a bag of Lay's chips and I'm just getting air. Does anyone else hate that? The feeling that's on your fingers after? So next we're going to move on to foundation. On the love side, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. I love this foundation like so much. It's crazy. Um, the only thing I know I'm gonna, people are gonna notice, I got mine in the shade Vanilla and I think that was like the second or third down which I saw a tutorial on this stuff before I bought it and I knew that it came out really really light and I'm super super pale but I guess I forgot summer was a thing and I'm not as pale I know I'm pretty pale but like I'm not as pale as I usually am so when I got this it matched me perfectly but now it is too pale for me and I want to get another one a dark shade but I haven't gotten around to that yet so we're gonna be super pale on both sides probably so it'll even out it's fine <laughs> so pale but do you see that coverage though like what like look at that look at how crazy it's hard to remember that I'm only doing half to like stop it from carrying over oh my gosh I really gotta get a new foundation shade that looks okay it looks a lot cr more crazy on camera than it does in person but I'm a very red, I don't, like, you can tell I'm a very red person. So, like, this it just, like, takes everything away and I just feel like a blank sheet. <laughs> I look like a different person. So, on the other side of my face, I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Long Lasting Finish. My real problem with this one was the smell. And I remember, I'm, I remember having to s use a lot of it to be able to cover my face um and oh it just it smells like it smells like baby powder and like your grandma's perfume like it's not it's not a good smell and it's very strong it's very overpowering so we'll I don't I don't actually remember if I liked how it looked I don't think I mind it but it was the smell that really got to me yeah see like, I took a huge thing of that and it it only covered my chin and as you can see the coverage difference is like pretty big like, I'm, almost, I'm already almost out I have to go scraping for more <laughs> I broke it uh, now, oh my god I literally I broke it look the tube slides out now Okay, we're gonna have to work with what's on my hand. There's like not a lot there, but we're gonna have to work with it. Okay, so that is my finished face using the Rimmel. I'm gonna have to throw that out because I broke it. But that's the finish. Like you can see there's a lot less coverage on that. I don't know if you can tell a huge difference in color. The color is actually pretty similar. This one's just a lot more there. <laughs> So next we're going to go on to concealer and for my loves I have the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous I think. I I have a conspiracy that this doesn't ever run out because I've had this for a really long time and I use it every day and it's just every time I like pull it out. I've gone through so many concealers but I've never gone through this one and I don't know why I don't <laughs> weird but like it's it's really good for under eye so I'm gonna I'm gonna pop that on there this is the NARS concealer uh, this one is in the color vanilla anyway so I'm just gonna plop this on all of my problem areas so pretty much my entire face and I'm gonna blend that out with my, this is what I've been using is my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Okay, so on to my other side, my two, this is actually a duplicate, uh, it's not a duplicate, but the, this is, I believe it's a CoverGirl stick concealer. It's just, it's really thick and really cakey and really heavy. This is the first concealer, this, not this one, I've had a couple of them because I thought when I was 13, I thought it was good. Let's see if I can 
Oh, and it like drags your skin and it just highlights your pores. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like my pores are there. Usually you can't really see my pores, but today <laughs> I'm going to try to blend that out now. Can you guys hear that? That's it's sticking to the sponge. Okay, I've been blending it for a while now and that's as good as it's gonna get. You see that? It looks terrible! Ugh. And the next concealer I'm gonna use to hide all of my insecurities is the e.l.f. It's a concealer highlighting stick. And you know what? I'm just, I'm not gonna use this for my terrible highlighter, but I want you guys to see this. I want you guys to see the highlight that I don't care if it's under eye highlighter or if they mean it to be like cheekbone highlighter, but like it's just white. And then when you try to blend it out, it just goes away. It, there's nothing even there. And it's like, no. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna use the concealer. The concealer I found just kind of runny and it didn't really cover anything that I wanted it to. We're going to continue with some setting power powders. Oh, I put too much in there. But now we're going to set, and for my good setting powder, I'm going to be using, is there like a label? Yeah, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier. Why not bake? I'm going to bake. So I'll let that sit for a little while. Uh, and the reason, I mean, this stuff is pretty self-explanatory on why everyone loves it. It just, it makes me feel so bright. And it makes, you know, it just, my foundation stays on. I, I really, really love this. And I just got it like a couple days ago. Before that, kid you not, I didn't use powder. And I know everyone who is anyone who likes makeup... It's like, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, I know. But I have not had good experiences with powders in the past. So I just assumed that I knew everything. And powders sucked. And let me tell you, a lot of them do. But that one does not. So my next is, it kind of looks like a dupe. This is going to be on the dislike side. But it kind of looks like it's trying to be a dupe for the Laura Mercier. Like a little bit, but this one's by CoverGirl, and this was the first baking powder or like setting kind of powder that I ever tr oh, tried to use. Oh my god, you see this? I don't know if you can see it, but it's like raining on me. Make it rain. Oh, it's all over my table. <laughs> anyway, so it made my skin feel really tight. And gross and there's so much fallout I mean on there's fallout on that one too but like because it's a powder this one's like excessive and it made my skin look kind of orange and it's just like it's just an uncomfortable thing so I'm actually gonna use I'm actually gonna use the sponge that oh my god did you guys see that <laughs> wait wait Oh my god, it's raining and it's not coming off like a powdery, like fine dust. It's coming off like a glitter chunks, like I'm at a strip club. Anyways, I'm going to use their puff that comes with it. The one thing I thought was weird about the Laura Mercier was it's like the velour puff is, that's what you should use this for, but it doesn't come with one. And I'm like, girl. So I'm going to, I don't even want to put it on one. <coughs> you guys see this? <coughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for doing this to you. Can you guys see it at all? Oh my god. Oh, it's horrible. Okay, let's, I'm gonna show, do you see the difference of, <laughs> do, you, do you see the difference of the powders? <laughs> Wait, I could, it's like a magic trick. Okay. There, now I'm, it's, it's, you disappear after that. Okay. We're gonna let that <laughs> sit for a while. We're gonna go on to some contour. Now, this is my, like, holy grail 
I love, I didn't powder my nose. Yet. I don't want to put that stuff in my nose. Okay, now that I am successfully powdered and my work space is successfully covered in what looked like cocaine, we're gonna move on. So my holy grail contour powder is by Wet n Wild, the contouring palette contour. So I'm going to take a highlighting brush by e.l.f. because I'm cheap and I only have cheap brushes. So get on my level. And I'm just gonna take that right there. And for the other side, I'm going to be using the contour palette by Sephora. And this one, I just felt like it didn't really blend out as well as I would like it to. But I think the packaging is so pretty. So I'm going to go in, I don't think these have shade names, but I think I'm going to go in with this middle shade right there, the kind of gray toned brown one. So I'll contour that one out. Oh my gosh, can you see that? Like the nose contour will not go away. Like it's like, oh, it's like there. Okay, anyways, now I'm going to brush away my excess powder. You know, just like, just a warning. I don't do my eyebrows because I don't know how. And I don't use blush because every time I use blush, it either doesn't show up or I look like a clown. So I just ignore it. I'm just going to pretend it's not fair. And I'm going to go in with my highlighters. So my, for my first highlighter, I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter. Just like, look at that. Are you serious? Oh, oh it's so pretty. I'm going to take the e.l.f. Pointed foundation brush. I don't like applying it with a fan brush. I'm not sure why. I don't think it gets the best amount of pigment on there. So I'm going to take it on a foundation brush. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's like, it's there. It's there. It's good. Okay, so for my other highlighter, I'm going to be taking... This may also come to a surprise to many people. I'm taking the Becca highlighter, uh, and I, I just didn't think this one showed up that as as much as everyone was telling me it was going to. It's not. It's just not my favorite. I was kind of disappointed. Kind of just a little lackluster for me. So next we're going to go into the eyes, and for where did I put it? For the loves, I have a few things to show you guys and what I'm, I'm gonna be doing like a brown smoky ish eye using the Nubian palette by Julia's Place I'm using this palette because the product that I do not like is a brown palette which I don't actually use browns that often if you see me in future videos I'll be most likely wearing pink or bright blue I like I like makeup that's out there I love makeup because it makes me feel better about myself. If it makes, if you feel great about yourself without makeup, that's great. More power to you. But personally, I feel more confident wearing makeup. But I've always thought makeup was more of a, a fun thing. Like, I really like having fun with it. And using the browns and stuff like that isn't as fun as going crazy with my makeup. Like, a couple, like, I think the last day of school, I did, like, this whole rainbow eye. It's during Pride Week, so I was this huge rainbow eye and it was like so awesome and you know these they're pretty but it's like they're so basic you know what I mean but these are really really good shadows I definitely recommend the Juvia's Place palette so I'm gonna go ahead and slap some of that on there so first I'm going to be taking I'm gonna be taking a transition shade that one right there no sorry that one backwards on my thing. I'm going to slap it in the middle. Okay, and the next color I'm going to go into at the outer C is this, this brown right there. So the next one I'm going to go into the crease with, with is this kind of bronzy shade right there. There's powder from my CoverGirl setting powder all over and now it's on my makeup palette. Isn't that great? <laughs> And then finally, I'm just going to go into this very light shade right there. There's a little shimmer in the inner, in the center of the eye. Okay, so that's the final eye look for this side. It doesn't look great on camera. It looks a lot better in person. But that is the finished eye look for this side. 
Okay, for the next side of my eye, I'm using the Sephora Miniature Palette in, I think these are cookie palettes. Isn't the packaging just adorable though? Like, so cute. Too bad the colors aren't great. So that's pretty much what it looks like. And I just found the payout wasn't that great. I mean, it wasn't that expensive of a palette, so it's not like a huge deal. But I wish that a lot of the shades were better than what they are. So I'm gonna go in with the same colors. I'll use, I'm gonna use Peanut as a transition shade. Then I'm gonna go in with Biscuit and darken it up a little bit with Cocoa and finish it with Popcorn on the center of the eye. So the finished product, it's not terrible. The actually, the transition shade, which I hadn't used before, is actually quite good. It's just on the inner side there, you can see that bronzy and it's, that's mostly the transition shade. The transition shade came out a lot darker than I expected. But that's just the transition shade that was very... It just doesn't really show up and it's not very bronzy like it shows in the package. I don't know if you can see that. But this one right here, it shows up very bronzy and it does not really transfer onto the eye very well. So that is that. The next thing is I just wanted to swatch on my arm because I really wanted to use them, but I don't have enough shades that will go it won't even open, that will go with these two that I oh my god I just dug into it. That's so sad. I mean I don't like it anyways, but aw. Uh I just want to show you guys these ones because I definitely disliked them more than I liked the miniature palette, but the shades that I would have to help, like to go with these eyeshadows would have been from better palettes, so I didn't really want to use that and overshadow them with the better palettes. So I'm just gonna swatch them on my arm. These are the Sephora Colorful Just Single Pan Eyeshadows. I just dug into this one. Oh. These are actually what I used for my prom makeup, um, and I had to layer them quite a bit, so I don't try to like, see they're, they're very just, they don't show up very well. Uh, I have a lot on my arm, but then when I try to swatch it, it's like nothing. So I have some dupes that I will show you for the better side that I actually really love. This one, I love these palettes so much, I have like four of them, and I want to get the other ones. These, this is the Huda Beauty Obsessions, and this is the palette Gemstones. So I'm gonna take this blue shimmer shade right there, in with my finger, and show you. See, that is a lot better. And the next one, oh my God, breaking everything. The next one is from the Masquerades palette from Juvia's Place. And I'm just going to be taking this shade right there. It's the shade Dahlia. And these are crazy pigmented. I don't know if you've ever seen. Like, are you joking me? So that's, I mean, those don't even look blue anymore next to that one. Neither does that one. That one looks purple. Anyways, so that's, those are the, those are the shades that I like in opposition to those ones. I would not, I mean, these are $10 each. I would not pay $10 for these. I got these for six because they're on sale, but still, I would not pay $12 for those again. I just got them because I really wanted blue makeup for prom and I didn't have Juvia's yet, so. So the next thing that we're going, going to go in with is eyeliner. And for the eyeliner that I like, I have the Maybelline New York in the color black so I probably like black is black I don't know but this I just use to go under my eye and I don't actually do you see how light it is I don't actually have a pencil liner for the other eye so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the elf it's like a do you see how sharp that is though it's not bad I just feel like it takes up my eyeshadow and foundation while I'm using it so I'm gonna use that under that didn't even show up so now I'm gonna go in with my liquid and this is also an elf 
Okay, so that is done for that eyeliner. And I'm actually going to use this one again for the top lash because it didn't really show anything on the bottom. So it didn't really show what it can do. But I do have another eyeliner that I despise. This one is from Too Faced. It's the Glitter Pop Peel Off Eyeshadow. And it's actually so beautiful. Try to get a swatch on my hand. But the thing is, with this eyeliner, it doesn't show up very well. It's like glitter glue. Yeah, it's like glitter glue. Like, it doesn't show up very well. It takes a lot to get a little. And it peels off. Like, I wore it once, and it peeled off, like, at two hours into me wearing it, but, like, half off. So, I don't... Like, you can see it, and it's beautiful. Like, I would kill to have this on my eyes every day. But... It just, it starts peeling off throughout the day and then it gets really irritating and stuck in your eyelashes and I ruined all of my makeup that, I ruined my, like, all of my makeup that day, um, just because of that eyeliner. And then when it peels off, it peels off with, first of all, without you wanting it to, and when it peels off, it takes off the rest of your makeup underneath because it's literally just a glue, which, it's just, it sucks. I don't know. It sucks that it doesn't work, and I'm upset that it doesn't work, but it doesn't work, so that's all. Okay, I'm going to go in with this one. So I don't know if you can see, but I feel like I feel like my application wasn't good on either of them, but I, it felt really choppy, and it actually, I've only worn this once or twice, and I don't, I didn't remember. It's actually kind of sharp, and it kind of, it was hard to apply. So, yeah, no, I'm not a fan of that one. It just really drags on your eye. All right, we're finally reaching the end. We have two more products to go through. I know you're probably like, this person is taking forever to do their makeup. But I'm going to go in with mascara. And the mascara that I... Oh, I just found it, and I love it so much. It is the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal, I believe. And it's just the old... I, I just switched off of my other Holy Grail, which is the Telescopic by L'Oreal. And the Telescopic is like half the brush size of this. But I it separates your eyelashes so well. So I don't know if you can tell. Oh, it's so hard to see. But do you see that? It makes me feel like I'm wearing falsies without actually wearing falsies. So, on to my dislikes. I did not like the Urban Decay Troublemaker. And I just got this in a trial size, like a little tiny mini. But I thought, like, it's a good mascara, but I thought the brush was really sharp. Like, I don't know if anyone else thought this. But the brush hurt. But they are sharp as heck. So that is them side by side. Can you see the difference? Like, that is them side by side. I'm sorry for the close up of my face. I know you don't want to get that close to me. So that is side by side of um, the eyes. So the last thing on our list is lips. And I actually have two products that I love, two products that I hate. We'll start with the low. Where did I put them? So, my two favorites are, first, this Tarte Lip Paint. And this, I hated it so much at first. I thought it was horrible. It dried down so quick, though. Like, I hated it at first because it's so liquidy. It feels like, I mean, if you ever have felt watercolor paint like you put a bunch of water in the paint and then you feel it with your hands I don't am I weird I'm weird aren't I anyways have you ever felt that it just oh it it feels exactly like that on your lips but then it dries immediately and it feels like you have like powdered donut sugar like powdered sugar all over your lips and it feels so weird but it looks really pretty that that's my rant and the next one I think I'm gonna put this one on this one is the Bite. I actually got this for a birthday gift from Sephora, and it's the Bite in the color Glaze. I can't, it's too, 
small to see, but it's like a lip cream and that's the color that it is. So I'll put that on one side. You know what feels weird? Putting lipstick on one side of your mouth. That feels weird. But isn't that like the prettiest color? Oh my god, that's so pretty. I don't even like, like lipstick. I have so much lipstick and I don't even like it. I think I have a problem. So on to the side that I don't like. I don't like these two. First one is the one I'm not going to put on. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. And I'll swatch it for you guys. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful color. That's it right there. It actually, no it wouldn't. But it comes out so, so light. Like lighter than that does. And it's just, should I swatch the other one? It comes out lighter than it does on my arm. Here, that's the other one. You can kind of see how wet it is. And I'll show you in a couple minutes when it dries. Um, it, it wears off really, really quite quickly. I was going to meet my friend once and it, I was walking to meet her and I was just, I just plied it right before I left the house. And then when I went back to it, it, like I looked at it just before I got to it there, I looked at it in my phone and the whole middle had like slowly disappeared and I was just really disappointed. So the one I'm actually going to put on is the Too Faced Melted Latex in the color Bite Me. And this one is just, it's so sticky. Do you see, like, do you see the strings hanging off it? The little, like, it's grabbing on. It just doesn't let go and it's, uh, I don't know, it's just, I ordered, what I ordered was like a dark red, and I got it, and it looks brown in the packaging, like it's not an attractive color, and it's just like, no, it's just, it just grabs on, and it's really hard to spread, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but like, like I get it, it's lipstick, it's not, it's melted latex, it's not supposed to be like the glossiest of things, but it's, it's just, I don't know if you can see how like sticky it is but it's really quite sticky so that's a hard pass for me but I'll show you this one now see how like earlier it was I don't I'm trying not to get that one because that one will smudge for sure but this one it like it does not go anywhere I'm actually ordering like two more they're on their way I'm excited so that is the finished look I look crazy. Okay, so. Okay, so that's the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and if you want me to do a, another one of these with different products, then give it a thumbs up. Sus subscribe. Subscribe to join my little family, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.